yeah, this is our only hope as a human race to come to the truth with our hearts and minds and souls and see what it is. Uh, the real truth is that God's face has been everywhere your whole life, but our society has been so removed from God that even those who think they're close to Him are obviously nowhere near Him. Uh, it's common practice nowadays to go to church, wherever church you go to, and just believe that that's enough. Uh, not even reading the Bible, what Jesus Christ says. But I stumbled upon this. Um, thank God it so changed my life. When I was looking for a cure to the modern day black plague, which is killing so many of us, uh, it's the leading cause of death, according to Alex Jones, is suicide. Um, suicide obviously caused by depression. And I was depressed too because I didn't obey Jesus Christ whatsoever either. And, you know, I was just looking for a cure for that. And I thought, well, drugs ain't going to do it. So I'm going to obey Jesus Christ. And I know that he listens to people who obey him so i just started obeying him and then next thing you know bam i saw his face and in that same instant i was cured of all depression i felt like i wanted to feel you know like a boy you know like a clean boy that had never sinned before so here i am 10 years later uh, you know, I've been able to see his face for 10 years now. He has let me see his face, correction, because it is everywhere, and I can show it to you, but uh, I think he lets me show it to you to motivate you to obey Jesus Christ. And now you're going to say, why don't I see him? Because you don't obey him. That's what this whole video is all about. It's not like some secret. The Bible, as far as I know, is the most published book in the entire world, on the entire planet. I think it's the most well-known book also. But, you know, we have to put in practice what he says. This, my brothers and sisters, is the truth, the honest truth, about what happens when we actually do what Jesus Christ says. Uh, and you're going to say, well, why do I want to see his face? Because getting to know God, according to Jesus Christ, is paradise. And I don't know a more relevant source to trust than Jesus Christ. He's the one who says it. He's also the one who says that people will see him before they die. And the pure in heart will see him while the rest of the world won't. The apostles all confirmed it. King David prophesied it. I'm showing it to you here. I do it like a thousand times more on my channel. And my goal is to try to do all the American bills. I hope I get them all done. I hope I get time to do that. Uh, just to leave you with no excuse, you know. Like, what excuse do you have now to not try obeying Jesus Christ because you know it's good for you sure but think about a whole world think about the consequences of being able to see God's face everywhere do you think that I'm gonna go run and do some bad thing to somebody not a chance because I can see that I'm being watched you know that's like you got cameras on you? Are you going to do some kind of crime when you know there's a camera on you? Not unless you're like a complete fool, right? And people see your face. Everybody knows who you are seeing you do this bad thing on camera. It's the same, but times that by infinite. Because God's punishment is infinite for the infidels. Infidels is a term used, as far as I know, to describe someone who does not obey Jesus Christ. You know, 
And that's the faith that's spread all around the world. And he prophesied that, that the faith of, you know, the infidels, the uh, untrue followers, people who, you know, I thought that I was his follower too. You know, I'm not getting on your case about it, but it's just so obvious, you know. You know very well that if you're not seeing him, you know that you do not obey Jesus Christ, all right? Uh, unless you're completely ignorant of what he says. You know, you might make excuses for yourself like, oh, well, this is just a little command that Jesus Christ says. Listen, he's the son of God. His words are not to be taken with a grain of salt or lightly. I am telling you that I came upon this enlightenment because, you know, I needed a miracle. <laughs> like, I guess that's the way human beings are. We need some kind of negative uh, reinforcement to go after Jesus Christ. Some kind of negative motivation. And it is everything. Why would you want to look at Jesus Christ's face? Well, let's see. When I look at his face, I feel this spiritual ecstasy that everybody wants. You know, the things that you think that, the feeling you think you'll have when you figure you got a whole bunch of money or something. Like, oh, if I had a whole bunch of money, I would feel so great. Everybody knows that's not true, but that's the way I feel, you know. Like, think of all the good adjectives that you can think of. Heroic. Heroic? I get to show you the light of heaven and there's a lot of space for you guys to help me out here all right as far as i know i don't know anybody else doing this on the internet i feel kind of like noah you know like hey, why are you obeying jesus christ you're wasting your time so i know because i can see his face that he's real and if i don't there's going to be hell to pay and the same with noah you know He's thinking, well, God himself <laughs> told me that there's a huge flood coming. You guys can listen to me, you know, you got no reason not to believe me. Just like I leave you here, you have no reason not to believe me. Uh, you know, like, can you show me anything else that is omnipresent? Can you show me, I don't know, a shark? 23 times in the $20 bill for the five main characteristics of a shark maybe you can find it once I don't know I'd be pretty tough you know dorsal fin pointy nose pointy teeth long body pectoral fins or a giraffe why don't you find the omnipresent giraffe and prove me wrong you know there's no reason whatsoever for you not to believe this. I leave you with absolutely no excuse. And it is the key to our freedom. Freedom from killing ourselves. We need Jesus Christ to overcome any and all evil. You can't do it by yourself. That's what he came here to do. He didn't come here to give you some cheap excuse to keep sinning and think to yourself, well, Jesus will forgive me. You must do as he says in order to avoid hellfire. And, you know, there's so much misunderstanding and I guess you could call them like false Jesuses that people teach that, you know, something so huge like this, like when we follow Jesus, we get to see his face everywhere, like omnipresent. You know, there's got to be some thick meddling in our doctrine, you know, as a human race. For people not to know this, like, how is it that I just kind of stumbled upon it? Like, stumbled upon this? <laughs> like, there's nothing spiritually bigger than this.
raising the dead doesn't even come close. Like, boom, you raise the dead, that even leaves doubt in your mind, you know? Like, well, maybe he wasn't dead. You know, that kind of stuff happens. Maybe Lazarus was just taking a nap, you know? But this isn't for any. All day, all night, it's been there your whole life. It's been there. You know, I've watched old movies. You can see it in old movies, too. <laughs> Like the oldest pictures or whatever. The Mona Lisa. It's in the Mona Lisa. You know, that's like the oldest visual art I've ever seen. As far as I know. And you don't know this? Like, wake up. There is nothing more important than this. And there's nothing bigger than this. So in closing, if I get chosen to be a InfoWars reporter, I will show you God's omnipresent face, and I'll even take requests. You know, maybe we could do like a month of places that symbolize liberty and other things, but I chose the American dollar because... It's everywhere, right? So people can see it and use it like a pamphlet to show people the truth. Thank you very much.